Walking Eagle, the Little Comanche Boy, written by Anna Ulate, illustrated by Navola Ua. Walking Eagle rode along the path. They were waiting for him like they did every evening. He told stories, tales told without words, because Walking Eagle didn't speak. He used his hands, his face, his smile, and his eyes to communicate everything that his listeners needed to hear. Walking Eagle was born club-footed. As soon as he could stand when he was very small, he looked down and saw his feet pointing inwards and that his legs made the shape of a heart. He belonged to the Comanche tribe called the Lords of the Plains, originally from the Rocky Mountains, but he also belonged to nature. Walking Eagle merged with the trees, disappeared into the forests. The animals would approach him, and he fearlessly looked them in the eyes, hugged them, and gave them names, and fed them. Born to ride, the little Comanche boy had legs in the shape of a heart to bond to his kindred spirit, his pinto horse, on whose back he would fly, galloping into the air, taking his stories with him. He walked down a path of red earth, a path that ran alongside a river, a river that ran around a range of mountains. Walking Eagle wore his feather headdress. After listening to his tales, each different tribe would solemnly give him a feather from a majestic eagle as a gift, as a present, as an offering for the legacy they had received. And all of these feathers from his different brothers, as Walking Eagle liked to call them, formed this special headdress the one that crowned his head and accompanied his tails. Before reaching the place where they waited for him to listen to his tale, Walking Eagle sat down on his makeshift chair made of dry leaves and clay mixed with different memories. There he would close his eyes, relax, dream, and then he would feel the whirlwind within him. A very powerful emotion, goosebumps, the rhythm of his heart as he galloped. He heard laughter, enveloped in the perfume of flowers, and the voice of a woman with sparkling eyes who called to him, Walking Eagle! They were memories of his mother that sometimes came to him on the wind. That whirlwind, that voice, that perfume, yes, that was it. It was what inspired him to continue on his way with just his horse and his stories, crossing territories, struggling to make different peoples, hold hands and listen to what he had to say. Walking Eagle, the little Comanche boy who took tales to different tribes, spoke of togetherness, solidarity, joining hands and overcoming fears. Through his vivid performances, he inspired his listeners with stories of warriors who laid down their spears and impressed them by silently imitating the howling of wolves, the flapping of wings on the earth and in the air, and majestic eagles who watch over us and guide us on our way. His animated gestures cast larger-than-life shadows in the heat of the fire. With his hands, Walking Eagle made it possible to feel the light of the full moon, the caress of the wind, the crackling of the flames. A bright white magical thread would appear while Walking Eagle told his tales with his hands, bringing together territories, countries, and continents. Then the magical thread wove an enormous teepee where they all could meet around the warmth of the fire. And it was there to the sound of drumming and chanting in the moonlight that all of the Native American tribes encouraged people of different colored skins from around the world to come together as one by linking their fingers and hearts in solidarity. This little boy with the feather headdress and legs in the shape of a heart continued along the path. They were waiting for him. He told tales, tales that were told without words. <laughs>